So this is officially, I believe, I say officially, but I might do a couple more fields, but I doubt it. I'm just about sitting anyway. So that we're gonna wrap this here. So I'm gonna put this on the wrapper, and now, even though we're done haying, now we have to clean all this equipment up. So we pressure wash it all off, get all the dirt and whatnot off of it. And then we grease it and put it all away for the winter. So it's not outside in the snow. So what happens if you leave stuff outside, the snow gets into it, or snow gets on it, then it warms up, and the snow melts, and it runs down into stuff, like bearings and races, and then it freezes again, and it will either rust those bearings, or it will freeze in there and expand them, so it's just not good to leave stuff outside. So that's our, that's gonna take us probably all of a week to do that. We still gotta spread manure, so we just really need to give up on the haying, I think, which we're gonna do. I don't know, I gotta go look at those two fields and see what they look like, but I just can't imagine I'll do them. So anyways, we're short on space, so what we're gonna do, this truck, we're gonna unhook that trailer, and then we're gonna put the trailer on the truck, and then we're gonna put that red hay wagon over there on top of the trailer. Then we can back that all in the shed, and it'll sit there till springtime, and it's getting the body cleaned up. She'll sweep that one, so we'll video that also. So here we go, the last official bale going in the pile. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's working. Got it now. So it's hard to video this tractor because everything's in the way all the time, but Need a GoPro probably. So we gotta clean that wrapper up. That will probably be one of the first things we'll pressure wash and clean. And there we go. That's it. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully I don't change my mind. So we'll get Hold around. Oh, I can't hook up yet because I gotta turn the truck around. So I'll pull this over here for now. Alright, we got the truck and trailer unhooked. See if I got enough room here with that wagon. Should be fine. Got it backed up the trailer. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the wheel end up. We're gonna get the wheels high enough to. Hopefully set it. I think I can pick it up. Probably gonna come off that block. We just had to pull that block out under the jack because that would fall, make that thing fall forward and I don't want to bend the jack. So she's gonna get this hooked up and we'll see if we can pick it up here. So she's got the chain hook. Well, she's got it short enough. Picking it, but it's not what we need in the so we're gonna get the chain better. Yeah, kinda had a lift for the tractor here. So we're gonna let the bucket down. Go up. We can curl it, we just can't pick it straight up. Should be good. We'll get her to back the truck up. I might have to let it down and then rehook it or lift it up some more. We'll 
get that body underneath that tail and then I'll set it down a little. Might have to rehook the chain. Yeah, I think I'm too short on the chain. No, she should be able to get it. Back that up a little bit more. And Then I'll pick up the front. She should just be able to back her up and go on. Tires overhanging the same? Yeah. Huh? No. Which way is it gotta go? This way. How much? Uh, Alright, we'll hook that chain back up then. So I gotta set it over a little bit. The next question is whether the truck body is long enough. I don't think we're gonna, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get it all the way back on there. We'll see though. If not, we'll have to take it all off. I thought it would go, but it might not. So we'll get turned around here. Either that or I put it on the gooseneck trailer when we put that away. It would fit on there, wouldn't it? But that should go right over those round bales, I think. I mean, not the round bale rat. So we got it on there, but it's a little long, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. We could put it on this tr gooseneck trailer and put that all away to one shot. I don't know. I'll measure it. So we got that all strapped on there. So now we're gonna put that on there. I was gonna put that red one, but it's got them bars that go up, so. I'll put that one on top of this one, and then this one will go on top of this one. All right, we got this up. Now we just gotta get it on the truck. You want me to back up the truck? Huh? So I gotta back the truck up. What? Yeah, and you'll set that pole on there. Holy cow, the heat's on in here. We'll get this backed up. I don't know if you can see anything. Can't see her either. So I can't reach the clutch. I had Jeff Townsend drive this the other night. He must have moved the seat. There we go, now I can reach it. I'm pull it about four inches ahead. So I gotta get lined up a little bit better. See the wagon back here. I'm just gonna get that pole up on there and I'm probably gonna have to pick it up a little bit more. But... So I'm just gonna set the phone here and you can watch the catastrophe. Get the tape measure from the truck. I don't know if you can see if anything. You can see.
Thank you.